Hey you crazy hunters, what's happening? Lenny Kale hunting Western Mass. What's going on? Uh, it's, it's been crazy out there for me. I've uh, <sighs> I've been really challenged out, out in the woods. I've, it seems like I find some good spots and people move in and set up on them. But I wanted to share with you some things that are going on with me. Um, tell you how my hunting life is going and, and share a couple tips with you. Um, so what's up is that uh you know i i found a good spot i put up some cams i had someone come in and set up a stand uh within you know a few feet of of my trail cam i don't know what that was all about um but uh, it seems like uh, there's a lot more pressure this this year than i found last year i, I mean I, I i hunt some pretty obsolete places um uh but today let me share with you what, what happened with me today i um I got in late. I wanted. I, I just wanted to go in and hang up a stand because I, I found a really good spot, and that that thing had happened to me. It pushed me deeper into the woods. I found some really good sign where there's some really good deer. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go set up my stand. And it, it was so deep in the woods. I had to. Um, I, I I I set up a sled. Uh, you know, we all we all know we got snow this morning. So I I set up a sled. I put my stand. All my stuff, my straps, my climbing steps, everything, everything uh, that I needed, I, I tied it to the sled, and I dragged it uh, <laughs> way out into the middle of nowhere to um, put my stand up. And I figure this is it. I put my stand up here. This is my spot. I'm not taking the stand down. I feel really good about it. As a matter of fact, I felt so good about it that I felt that I ended up stashing the sled uh, fairly close by. Uh, because I believe that I'm going to shoot a buck there and instead of having to come all the way out come all the way back with a sled to drag it out I figured I'd leave the sled stashed nearby that way it'd be easier to take my deer out so anyway I, I set up a stand in a really good spot I feel really good about it I got some trail cam set up on there there's a breeding scrape in there um, hopefully I'll have some trail cam pics for you guys real soon um, but, uh, but hunting, hunting etiquette uh, uh, on my way out of there, believe it or not, um, I had yes the other day when I was scouting and I found this spot. I, I came out and I found a really fresh scrape right next to the field. And when I uh, when I was leaving today, I went by that spot and I found a, a trail cam put up on that scrape. And it was just a trail cam with a strap. You know, um, I find a lot of trail cams and a lot of stands that are up there that don't have locks on them and I don't understand that I mean I, I'm not a thief and and most of the people that put stuff out in the woods you don't want to believe they're thieves too but yeah I get reports all the time about my stand was stolen my camera was stolen you know so uh, put a lock on it you know what I mean I don't know whose trail cam it was but you know I, I got in front of it and I wrote down hunting western mass at facebook.com and I held up the card so they took a picture so you know hey it's me I'm in the area I uh I, you know I know where your camera is I didn't steal it um you know I hope if you see mine you don't steal it either but uh anyway uh, hunting etiquette you see people's stands you see people's cameras leave them alone you know it's just good karma um now how close this is another question I have is how close should uh, you be before you should notify somebody else? Hey, I got a stand over here. So you got a stand set up, you got a camera set up, or whatever, and all of a sudden somebody moves into your area and, and puts something up really close to you. So I, I don't know what is it? With one, two hundred yards, three hundred yards, five hundred yards. Uh, you, you guys tell me, you know, I'd like to see some posts, what, what you think is fair for if you have a certain hunting ground. I mean, I, I know of one certain circumstance right now where these two landowners, one of them takes big bucks every year. The guy next to him hunts a lot too. They, they're having issues with, oh, you put a stand on my land. They're like breaking each other's cameras and it, it, it's just pandemonium. And, and it, hunting, hunting shouldn't be that way at all uh it, you know we're out there together doing the same thing trying to accomplish the same mission and you know but it seems like the pressure's getting tighter and we need to come up with some solutions for that so 
you know, I'm thinking that what, if I find somebody that's in my specific area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them a note. I'm going to give them my contact information. I'm going to give them the opportunity to, uh, you know, talk to me civilly and see where it goes from there. Uh, other methods, uh, I, you know, I'm not too much in agreement with. But uh, <clears throat> so the other thing I want to talk about was uh, um, I got a tip for you, barometric pressure. Everyone wonders about barometric pressure. Da, 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 da. I've, I've done some research, and this is what I found. Um, barometric pressure, when it reaches up to 29.7, 20, 29 up to the 30s, 90% of the bucks taken on trail cams during the day are taking in really high barometric pressure. So you guys want to keep that in mind, keep an eye on the barometric pressure. When it spikes like that, that's when the bucks are going to be moving during the day. So that's when you're going to want to be in the woods. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I, I did a lot of research on it and, and I found out a lot of good stuff. Um, the other thing, hunting tips, um, light pair of gloves. I, I usually use a light pair of gloves and then I got a heavy pair of gloves. Um, two for now it's starting to get super cold. You gotta start thinking about that stuff. I got this, uh, I got this, this backpack, uh, TJ Maxx, 20 bucks. Can't beat it. Um, and what I use this for is, uh, I put in my goose down jacket, my really warm gear, and I carry this into my stand. And so when I get up in my stand, um, I can I can peel off the stuff that I have because uh, I'm probably sweating in it and take off one layer then I put on another dry layer and then I put on my really warm stuff so uh, for 20 bucks TJ Maxx got some uh, some good deals um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, rut report hey 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 it's cracking out there I see um, scrapes everywhere I'm looking I'm thinking this is your last chance Saturday to get out there during during the peak rut um, uh, I'm saying this is probably going to be peak rut. Those, uh, they're probably going to go into breeding next week. So this weekend, which is tomorrow, get your ass in the woods, man. Be out there. Uh, you know, uh, get your guys together. Do whatever you got to do. Get out there. But um, now's the time to do it. Next week, once they start breeding, they're going to be breeding at night. They're going to be locked in on their does. They're going to be settled down. And they're going to be hard to shake out. You're going to have to do uh, ground pounding. You know, sitting in your stand is not going to do much starting next week. So, anyway, uh, I wish you guys luck. This is Len Kale with Hunting Western Mass. And uh, have a good one. Happy hunting.